Thank you very much, MC. Uh, I don't know whether I'm safe uh, here. As Alaji already made uh, his intentions known. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Landlord, being the Chairman of the National Sports Authority, definitely, and our office is in the stadium, you are our landlord. Alaji MND Jaola, our former FA president, and the one I share the same birthday with, 2nd of May. So we're looking forward to our next birthday, where I'll be talking as little as 65 years. <laughs> and I like Jaula, above that, 70. <laughs> My colleagues, football people, here assembled. Uh, Alaji took the wind out of my sail. I was going to talk about how necessary it is for us to come together now that we have found ourselves at the crossroads. Without unity of purpose, we cannot get to where we want to arrive at. We've sold our birthrights. We've sold our football to strangers. And here we are, galloping in the dark as to the way to go. So it is indeed timely that Alaji, our former boss, came around to tell us the need for us to remain as one unit. Let's put behind us the mistakes we've made in the past. This is, the, this is one platform we can use to retrace our steps and come together. Having said this, today is a special day in the history of uh, Dreams FC. And uh, as the leader for the clubs, I'm speaking here on behalf of all the clubs. We are so happy that they have chopped this milestone. The 10th anniversary in every human endeavor or institution is worth celebrating. The celebration could be for the wrong or bad reasons, but I'm proud and happy to say that the anniversary we are launching today is for the best of reasons, and it is worth celebrating. <laughs> it is a decade where we should celebrate, take stocks of what we've done so far, and uh, make plans for the future. Dreams FC burst onto the Ghanaian football landscape within a space of 10 years and has emerged as one of the top brands in Ghana football. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me say, wherever you go, it is dreams here, dreams there, dreams everywhere. <laughs> On behalf of all the league clubs in Ghana, I want to say Aiko. You haven't come just to add to the numbers, but you are here making a huge impact in the industry. Your youth policy is worth mentioning. This is a club which believes in building structures on solid foundations by running lower clubs to serve as the conveyor belt in the production of talents. The positive results of the clubs catching them young policy is there for all of us to see. Baba Raman and Co. readily come to mind. Mr. Chairman, the club is also noted for pursuing what we call in the local parlance, Tonneton policy, which the club is vigorously pursuing since that is the only way to survive the turbulent Ghanaian football environment. If you don't want to engage in turn a turn, you will sit on your own riches, and uh, you have to look elsewhere to make money. So I'm not surprised the area of stars that the turn a turn policy had produced, not only for the European market, but for our very own national teams. And we need to congratulate Dreams. 
Mr. Chairman, dreams have taken the business aspect of football to a different level, not only here in Ghana, but beyond the borders of the country. The club we are celebrating today has become the attraction to a lot of bedding and established staffs. That is why people are still wondering what Gau Gatete is still doing in dreams. Somebody that had been discarded and written off is now a star in the world. My brother, Gau Gatete, I true salute. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity, however, to send a note of caution. We expect dreams not to drop their guard because we would like to see dreams bigger and better when we celebrate the next decade. I'm sure this that time will be either at moving peak or where? Not 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 uh, a Bay Hotel. Uh, Kempiski and the rest. You know, the Bay Hotel have been there. It's still the Abubuashi. Uh, Ambassador Hotel metaphors into no, into moving peak. Continental and metaphors into Golden Tulip. Okay, so we don't want to see dreams moving to Nipa Hiyamwa. We want Dreams FC to be the leaders in the industry where we meet the next time to celebrate their 20th birthday. Your impressive show so far should not turn into a nine-day wonder. The considerable successes so far achieved man, must not be just a flash in the pan. In the, pan. the management executive of Dreams FC, I challenge you to decorate your wardrobes with trophies like the Premier League and FA Cup, just to mention a few. I know in your maiden engagement in the G8, you came out victorious to prove to all and sundry that your qualification back into the Premiership was not just a fluke. I cannot end this short address without paying glowing tribute to the fathers who dreamt, believed, and executed the dreams agenda. To the founders, management, technical team, players, supporters, and the proud sponsors of Dream FC, I wish to congratulate you for chalking 10 years laced with a lot of success stories to share. It is our prayer that Dreams FC will grow from strength to strength. Long live Dreams FC. The dream lives on. Thank you. But before I leave, let me share this short story with you since Alaji is here. And I'm saying this, being flanked by this beautiful ladies. Already somebody had taken some numbers. Already. As to how he got the numbers, I don't know. And if one had already been picked, then I think I will adopt the allergy strategy so that the two of us will also pick the remaining two. I was, I was driving one morning to the office when I was on the line with allergy. I was driving on the motorway from Tema to Accra. And two beautiful ladies overtook my car. Before I could say Jack, they had landed into a ditch. So I asked Alaji to spare me time to go to the aid of the girls, the ladies. The first question he asked me was that, are the ladies beautiful? <laughs> and I said, yes, very, very beautiful. So could you, what are you doing now? I said, the, 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 the first thing I would want to do is to take them to the 37 military hospital to um, assess health delivery. I did not even arrive at the 37 hospital when Alaji called again. <laughs> Could you, have you still not arrived at the 37 military hospital? So Alaji, I'm on the way. The next two minutes, he called again. I said, Alaji, we have arrived. So what is the, the situation of the ladies? I said, they are stable, and uh, I'm sure they will be treated and discharged. The order that came from Alaji 
was that, take one and give me one. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, so nobody should take what Alagi said for a joke. He's somebody who means business when it comes to issues like this. Let me thank the organizing committee that put this program together. I want to thank the management of Dreams LC for giving me this honor. When I was called to come, I thought I was coming as just a guest. But when the chairman of the organizing committee, Shadow, called me and wanted to know the dress code with which I will be coming, then I began to shiver a bit why he should ask for my dress code. So to cut a long story short, I just told him, I am coming Akufuado. <laughs> That's why you are seeing me in Akufuado. On this note, I want to thank all of you for an evening well spent. The dream should continue. And we want to see Dreams FC moving to higher and higher levels. Thank you very much. God bless us all.